smashes into her. She was carried off the floor in a stretcher. I'm just really serious. LeBron said in a post-game interview that uh, he had heard she was doing okay, tweeted out an apology. And uh, as I said earlier this morning, I got a feeling there's going to be a great big delivery from FTD or ProFlowers.com or one of those. (laughs) Right straight from Le- or LeBron to that family. You know, the video looks bad, but when you take a look at the still images that are floating around on social media, oh, that, yeah. right when she, right when he kind of jumps into her, um, you know, obviously he's chasing the ball, yeah. but you see her black boots. Like, that's right, all you see is That's all you see are her black boots. Oh, and you know how yes. big he is? Yeah. And she looks kind of tiny. And you saw some, yeah. some of the guys, like, three removed from her. Yeah. Not even, you know, doing one of these. Yeah. Al Gary. Tell you. Don't make it right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what you get for getting those like three thousand dollar seats up front. Yeah. I'll be buying up in the fifth row. Yeah. But like I sit there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll save seats. money and your life. <laughs> yeah, then you can sneak down, you know, at halftime. Oh, <laughs> in the spot. Sure. Oh, I got what you got. I know people that uh-huh. do that too. Don't uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks, Rod. Sure. All right. So here's the thing. What if you're not really into Star Wars, but you want to go see a movie? Yes. Well, you're like, well, is there even anything out there to see? Um, we're gonna answer this for you. So. There's some other options. This one right here, opening in theaters. And uh, a lot more. Michael Dixon's in the studio. He's going to have his movie review. Look at that. Look at Tina Fey. She's a funny gal. Yeah, hilarious. Maybe Holder's in this movie with her too. There she is. We'll be right back. Best value brand. 
Now, at your Honda dealer. Your eyes are unique. And to show them off, you need more than just one look. Right now at Nationwide Vision, when you buy one pair of all glasses, you can get a second pair half off. And you can use your insurance. That's double the style for less. At Nationwide Vision, we provide the high level care and long selection of frames to suit your unique vision needs. Visit Nationwide Vision today and find the frames that fit your unique eyes. Nationwide Vision, caring for Arizona's eyes for 30 years. We got to have a gimmick to sell this barbecue. We do. in this film than you will than you will imagine. Some you'll like, some you won't like, but they are all plot twisters. And wait till you see Mark Hamill. Wait till you see Carrie Fisher. They're both in it, and uh, that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say, except you really do get a wonderful sense of where the movie is going to go in the next installment. Okay. Very quickly, Disney paid $4 billion to get this franchise from, from George Lucas. Mm -hmm. The economists say this movie, because of its quality, could very well make $2 billion back uh, right away. And, wow. uh, or two of ten and, and surpass the other films. Anyway, go see it. It's, you're, you're not gonna be, it's worth the time you wait. It's worth the money you spend. Okay, well, uh, that's good to know. Okay. Okay, there are some other things opening up. Yes, there are. And Danish Girl is one of them. It's a beautiful and compelling film of the transgender struggle 90 years ago. This is the one in which um, Eddie Redmayne, he's the one that you remember from the theory of everything who played um, Steve, um, what am I trying, uh, 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 so Hockey, Steve mm -hmm. Hockey, mm -hmm. did that wonderful job, won the Academy Award. They are just, this is a profoundly sensitive film. Uh, Alicia Vikander is in it. Uh, she is the one you remember from Ex Machina. Uh, she just does a brilliant job as his wife, who sticks with him through this whole process. The way he portrays a woman is just amazing. The other one, for 
for the 12 of you out there who don't care about Star Wars, <laughs> you probably will like Sisters. This is a naughty, raunchy little comedy of sisters. Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, Diane Weiss, uh, Maya Rudolph, James Brolin, John Leguizano. These are two sisters. Their, their parents are selling their home, and they want to...